One of the biggest flaws of my original script was that you had to manually get together uh, your weapons array. You had to build it yourself. Um, and this can be very time consuming, but what if I told you there was a way to automate it? Well, I'm going to teach you that right now. First of all, I'll show you how we're going to manage this. Navigate to your convig viewer. Uh, we'll use one weapon as an example. I'm going to use the Katiba. Uh, and in here, you'll find right down the bottom the parent. Um, now, there's a whole bunch of things that we can use here, but the one I want to focus on is the rifle uh, string. We're going to extract this information and use this uh, this one line here in the parents to start building our automated weapons array. All right, for starters, I'll explain what I've done. Um, all I've done is duplicated my Loot 101 mission. Uh, I've renamed it Loot 102, and I've copied everything over there, so it's pretty much the same mission. We're just gonna edit a few other things. Loading up your loot.sqf file under your scripts folder in the mission. We'll empty out the weapons array. Uh, so it's just an empty array and we'll use this to start putting weapons into Just real quick. I'll add a couple of uh, comments here just to outline uh, The automation process that we're going to be adding to the script Right now diving in uh, We're going to use a command called config classes uh, This command requires a condition and the config you want to um, return. And it'll return the whole array of configs depending on the conditions. So we'll create a new line here, call it underscore CFG weapons equals true because we want to return the, uh, the whole config, uh, config classes, the command. And then we're gonna put in some brackets. Uh, in there we'll put in config file uh, this allows it to know that we want to look through the config file. Uh, a couple of arrows and the config we want to return, which is CFG weapons. This will return everything within CFG, spelled correctly of course, CFG weapons. This will return everything in there. Now, next part, I'm just going to show you real quick uh, what exactly that returns. Uh, we'll do this by entering in a hint C line. So we'll type in hint C format and some open and close array brackets. Uh, in those array brackets, we'll put in a string with percent one, a comma, and then underscore CFG weapons. I'll just quickly jump into the game and we'll take a look. So now that we've saved the script, uh, I'm just gonna quickly jump out of this and load it up. And then we'll activate our script. So what it's returning here is a whole bunch of uh, config entries from everything that's in CFG weapons. Um, and that's not exactly what we're looking for. We're looking for the weapon string to try and get at the parent's uh, array. So we're gonna have to do a little bit more work. Okay, so now we'll get rid of our hint C format line and we'll have to do a for each uh, this array kind of thing. So for each of the CFG weapons array, I'll put in the line here, open close squiggly bracket for each underscore CFG weapons. Uh, for each of those, we're gonna have to put in a new command. Uh, this command is called config name. Looking through it for our, um, sorry, in our scripting commands, uh, open it up here. So basically it's very simple. Uh, it'll return the weapon string that we want so we're going to name it is underscore weapon string equals config name and because uh, we'll go, sorry we're going to use brackets and that uh, underscore x because we're returning uh, the config entry from the CFG weapons uh, we can get it through just by putting underscore x which means this uh, index within the CFG weapons Okay, so now we're at the point where we have to get the parents from this config. Uh, we're going to use a function for that uh, called return parent. Uh, it's going to need an array. In the array, you're going to need to put the config class, or starting config, sorry. 
and uh, if you want to only return class names, which we're going to want to be able to. So we're going to name this underscore parent equals open close brackets call bis underscore fnc underscore return parents and we'll end that with a semicolon okay so in the array we're going to put underscore x uh, for the config that we want the parents return from and we're going to put a comma and we're going to put in true because we only want uh, uh, class names um, and then we'll create a few lines and we'll get to the real real guts of it so now that we've gotten all of our information, we need to put in a, an if condition. So we want just rifles. So we're going to put in if then um, the code we want to execute. So we're looking for rifle weapons. So we're going to put in rifle. I'm going to in parents, underscore parents rather. Uh, now this is going to look for the rifle string within the parents itself. Then we're going to move on to what it should do with these weapons that have rifle within the parents. So we're going to add just another one where we add these weapons to the weapon array. Alright, now we have all this information, we need to get it to work for us. Uh, so what we need to do is add it to the weapons array uh, array. So we'll go weapons we'll go weapons string uh, no, sorry weapons array append uh, open and close array bracket and in there we'll put underscore weapon string. Now what this does is it tags the um, weapon string array um, along the end of the weapons array. Uh, the alternate uh, way of doing this, which I did I think in the other video, was weapon array equals weapon array uh, plus uh, weapon string in, bracket, uh, in uh, array brackets. Now uh, the first way of doing it with the append is uh, said to be more uh, efficient than it is to do um, with the plus. So we're going to be using that. Um, I do apologize uh, for you know doing that in the last video, but uh, this one is a lot more efficient, the append. Uh, and that should be it. We should jump in and give it a test. Okay, now we're in. Activate the script, shouldn't return any errors, and it does. Uh, it just it's something minor though, uh, it's just having trouble creating a couple of the weapons. Um, so there's probably something that could be filtered out there. Um, but it looks like it worked, because I don't remember putting... Well, it, actually it wouldn't spawn anything in if it didn't work. So, um, I know in my last video there definitely wasn't any weapons that I put in the string that had attachments. So it looks like it's uh, worked. Man, that's a nasty piece of work, that one. Okay, let's add some other things. So what if we wanted to add some pistols or uh, launchers to the um, to the string? Well, we'll add both. We'll add both. Um, so we'll duplicate this these lines here. Uh, we'll change the checking for what it's going to look for. We'll change this first one to pistol. Duplicate it again, and we'll change the next one to launcher. Uh, and then we'll jump in and give it another go. Just FYI to duplicate, Control D. Jumping in. I hope this works. Moment of truth. It's still getting errors. Ugh. We've still got weapons in here. Which is good. But I just gotta find some launchers and pistols. That should have worked. I mean I don't see why it wouldn't. Hey, pistol. A bit of lag there. I do apologize. Uh, no launches. I'm not going to assume there's launches in here somewhere because, um, oh, oh, that looks messy. Make my way over there. See if that's. Uh, 
far out. What a mess. Oh, sweet. Look at that. It worked. Oh, the weapons bug. That's all right. I'll probably have to uh, verify my game. But it worked. Um, so just if you want to mess around with it, anything like that, I mean, go right ahead. That's pretty much it all done. Um, easily by far the uh, coolest thing about this script is that you can jump into the um, workshop for Armour 3 and find yourself a weapons mod that uh, you particularly like. I like the um, NI Arms AR-15 rifles. Um, you can go ahead, subscribe, subscribe to it, sorry. And uh, they'll pop into your game using the script. They'll pop into the buildings, uh, which is really cool. So go ahead and try it out, and thanks for watching. <laughs>